case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1982, the Supreme Court of Indiana heard Carr v. Hoosier Photo Supplies, Inc., a case that dealt with the enforceability of contract provisions that may cause significant hardship to a weaker party due to an imbalance in bargaining power. John R. Carr sued Hoosier Photo Supplies and Eastman Kodak after he submitted 18 rolls of film from his European vacation for development, but only received 14 rolls back. He sought $10,000 in damages. The lower court awarded Carr $1,013.60, but both parties appealed. The Supreme Court of Indiana found that the transaction was governed by the law of bailments and that either Kodak or Hoosier had breached the bailment contract by losing four rolls of film. The court then assessed whether Kodak's limitation of liability clause could protect it from liability. It was determined that Carr had accepted Kodak's terms and conditions when he submitted his film for processing, and the clauses were deemed valid and enforceable. The court clarified that for a contract provision to be deemed unconscionable, a disparity in bargaining power must exist in favor of the party whose liability is limited. However, in this case, no such disparity was found. As a result, the Supreme Court of Indiana overturned the Court of Appeals decision and remanded the case, awarding Carr $13.60 plus interest for his lost film, with each party bearing their own costs. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.